What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video from Brothers of Glory Airsoft. Today is a very special video, not only because we're reviewing the brand new Elite Force M4 CQB M-Lock Edition, but also because this is my first video officially sponsored by Fox Airsoft. I want to give a really, really huge thanks to these guys. I've been working with them the past couple weeks. They've been really awesome. They've agreed to give me some guns to review to bring better content for all of you guys. And they've just been great people. That's been my local shop for as long as I can remember. I bought my very first airsoft gun there. They were all very welcoming, already made me feel like a part of the community. And they're just great guys. Not only at what they do, but they're all great people. They love to help and I just fully support Fox Airsoft. And I am so, so grateful that they're giving me this opportunity to bring better content to all of you. All of that being said, this gun is brand new, so I've not had a chance to play with it. You guys are going to be opening the box same time I am, so I'm super excited. Um, I have played with the previous version of this gun, the Elite Force M4 CQB without the M-Lock rails, and I absolutely love that gun. I still use the CQC version of it, which is pretty similar. It just has a slightly lower FPS and a built-in suppressor with a shorter barrel. So. That being said, this bad boy looks absolutely beautiful. Comes with a user manual, obviously. Um, whether you're a beginner airsofter or advanced, I would always recommend taking a look at these. You never know what you're going to find. There could be some specs about your gun that you wouldn't have known if you don't take a look at that. So, always a good idea to look at the user manual. It also comes with a 300 round high cap magazine, which is very nice. High caps... I don't like high caps, but if you're going to have one magazine, a high cap is the one you want. Um, it does not come with a battery, however, so if you don't already have a mini Tamiya connector battery, you're going to need to pick one of those up. They're only like 18 to 20 something bucks, so they're pretty cheap, um, but that's pretty standard, so you're going to want those batteries anyway. And then last but not least, it does come with the beautiful Elite Force M4 CQB M-Lock Edition. It just looks so good. Like, I'm sorry, but it blows the last edition out of the water. The free float rail system is super beautiful. M-Lock is just has that really sleek look that just makes your gun look like it's straight out of a video game. Um, it's also got built-in iron sights that are black, which looks really good on this tan free float rail. The iron sights are not adjustable. However, they are already pretty good. You can move it like side to side, but it's not adjustable like height-wise. Um, it's got a fully extensible stock, train stock, which is where the battery would go in if it came with it. Uh, we'll throw one in in a bit so we can do our test shooting, but that's why you need those nunchuck batteries, is to be able to put it back in the stock there. Looks pretty similar to the CQB that they've made in the past. The huge difference is obviously the M-Lock free flow rail system. It's also really cool that this gun is two-tone. The stock, the pistol grip, and the rail system are all dark earth tan color. And then um, the center part is more black as well as the black iron sights. So, you know guys, I love my two-tone gun, so I think that this is a really cool design. And I'm really excited to see them kind of switching it up a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if the last CQB came with this, but they do come with sling mounts this time. I know I had to put one on my CQC, but these do come with two points for sling mounts on the back as well as a QD sling mount on the stock. So whether you're lefty or righty, you can go ahead and get a quick detach if you would rather have your sling on the stock. However, personally, I like to attach my sling on the side by the buffer tube right here. Now that we know everything that it comes with, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the rifle itself. It has a full polymer body, including the crane stock and the free float M-Lock rail system. Um, the top rail is still Picatinny, so don't you worry, all of your sights and attachments will still fit on the Picatinny rails on top. Um, it does have a 14mm positive end threaded barrel, so if you ever wanted to throw on a suppressor or a tracer unit later on, very easy to just take off that orange tip and thread on your suppressor. It has a version 2 fully metal gearbox as well as a micro speed trigger. It looks like they've upgraded the trigger since the last um, models of this gun, which the previous models, I absolutely love the trigger. The micro triggers in them were very responsive. The trigger response was just insane. It feels, just from messing around with this gun for a couple minutes, it feels like the trigger pull is slightly smaller, so I'm hoping that'll mean even better trigger response. But how about we go find that out right now? 
What's up guys, we're outside now for the shooting portion of this review. I have .20 BBs loaded in the magazine right now, as well as a 9.6 nunchuck battery in the stock. The hop-up I have not messed with since I've taken it out of the box, so what that means is as soon as you get this gun and start shooting, this is probably what it's going to look like. I really want to know what the grouping looks like on this gun, as well as the fire rate fully automatic and the trigger response. You know I love the trigger response on the previous model, and I really want to know if Elite Force took it to the next level. So, only way to find that out is to shoot some targets, so let's do this. Alright guys, so first off we're just going to take a couple shots semi-automatic, see how well the grouping is, and just remember I've not changed the hop up since I took it out of the box. Alright, I almost got hit in the face a couple times from the ricochet, but that looks pretty good. Uh, we're going to switch to fully auto mode, take a couple burst shots. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and see how fast the trigger response is. Not bad, not bad. I could do better than that though. That's pretty awesome. My fingers can't even move fast enough for this trigger, so that's a pretty good sign. And we're out. Let's go take a look at that target. Alright, well the first thing I have to say after shooting that gun is just wow, that was insanely fun. The trigger was super responsive, fully auto shot, crazy fast. And you guys got to keep in mind that this is right out of the box, so I have not messed with the hop up at all. And if we take a look here, the grouping is insane. Like not even messing with the hop up at all. Um, iron sights are perfectly lined up in the middle and just look at that. The grouping is so great. Pretty much all the shots landed about right here. Um, we had a couple stragglers down low, mainly when I did the full auto, it dropped a little bit. But that's an easy fix if you mess with the hop up just a little bit. We had a couple more stragglers up here, but pretty much in this group right here is where 90% of the BBs hit. And that is just absolutely insane. Very good grouping out of the box already. Um, I am super impressed with this gun. It was just crazy fun to shoot. The trigger response was absolutely amazing. And I would definitely recommend picking this gun up. Like I said, it's $200 on foxairsoft.com. I will leave a link in the description for you guys to go ahead and check that out. But that will be it for this video. I want to give another huge thank you to Fox Airsoft for providing me the gun to provide you guys with this content. Um, make sure you guys stick around for more videos. I'm definitely going to be posting a lot more consistently. I'm hoping to post a video every single week, um, rotate off between gun reviews and gameplay with that same gun. So keep an eye out for next week. I will be posting a gameplay video with this gun in it. And I am very, very excited to play with this gun. It's absolutely amazing. 100% would recommend. So, thank you guys all for watching, and thanks Fox Air for helping provide this video. I love all of you guys. Stay safe, and keep on airsofting.